And Chef Paolo here, world's best chef. You probably remember I did a video about Michelin star cooking in April 2020. I've got to tell you since then it has gone absolutely global. People stop me in the street and then usually assault me but um, it's been incredible, life-changing. The only thing is that one or two people did seem to suggest that I was under the influence of alcohol when I made the video. All I can say is the cheeky bastards we all like a drink, we all like a drink but as long as it's in moderation I don't see anything wrong with that. The other thing I would say is that when I engage people in conversation they also ask do I have any other interests in life? And I can tell you right now, I do. In fact, the two loves of my life is cooking and music. Particularly playing the piano accordion. So what I'm going to do is give you a little introduction to the piano accordion. And hopefully that will whet your appetite. And hopefully get you to learn or be interested in playing a musical instrument and I can do that now because it looks like we're all being advised to work from home so I've got a little bit of time on my hands and I will speak to you soon and show you the piano accordion Hello there this is my beloved piano accordion. I'll give you a little bit of information about it. It's a 120 bass piano accordion. Um, I don't want to get too technical, but I will just run through a few of the basics. These here are the white keys. These here are the black ones. These here are also black. These are the billows. This particular instrument is made from crystallised asbestos and here is ivory. The billows are made from the lungs of an elephant so no part of the animal is wasted. Um, I'll show you the rudiments of this instrument later but I do want to say that I truly believe that I was born with music in my veins. My father played the nose flute, my grandfather played the uh, musical saw. In fact he was the first person to die on the Titanic. Um, he died a week before they actually hit the iceberg. Um, unfortunately, he drowned in a bowl of muesli. And from reports at the time, he um, was pulled under by the currents. It's, it's important that uh, when you play this instrument, <clears throat> you're sitting comfortably. It's not the ideal instrument to play while you stood up vertically. Um, I actually get asked quite frequently how much one should pay for an instrument. And obviously, as in life, all I can say is buy the best that you can afford. This particular instrument was uh, 25 quid and I'm just thinking back when I bought my first accordion I was 18 months old and I saved the money from my call round and uh, bought an accordion and I could play it by the age of two. In actual fact my mother when I used to visit her in Broadmoor always reminded me um, that I could play the accordion before I could actually walk. 
but over the years um, I've been playing the accordion so much that uh, it's wearing my shoulders out. I do want to carry on playing because I love the instrument too much but clearly I've been warned by the vet that if I carry on playing it will wear my shoulders out and my arms could actually drop off. Uh, I can't tell but think back to the early days learning to play this beautiful instrument. I was very fortunate that um, I got to know a guy called Archibald Scrotum who lived in Leek. He was probably the greatest piano accordion player before the war. He taught me an awful lot. Um, he was very instrumental in me learning advanced techniques, um, which I will be demonstrating later. Um, unfortunately, his career was cut short um, when he had a motorcycle accident and he had to have both arms amputated. Up to then he would always point me in the right direction but uh, after then he couldn't really do that. The early part of my career was probably one of the happiest really. Um, after a lot of tuition from Archibald, I started off playing in abattoirs, bus shelters. And the number of times I got told to piss off, can't count. But they were the good old days. And um, it's unfortunate, as I said before, that I've actually played that much that I've worn my shoulders out. So I've come up with an idea and I will show you what it is in a minute or two, but fundamentally I can avoid using the billows and I can pump air into the accordion by reverse wiring a vacuum cleaner. I'll show you the details in a minute or two. Welcome back. Um, I mentioned before that um, to avoid wearing my shoulders out I've come up with this idea and what I've done is that um, I have reverse wired the vacuum cleaner so that instead of sucking it actually blows. So at the mere touch of the switch it's actually blowing air and the idea is that this will go into the back of the piano accordion which will enable me to play it without any physical effort and I will be demonstrating that later and by the way I will be playing an advanced piece of piano accordion music. The only thing I would say is that um, if you're going to attempt to do this at home, make sure you have the appropriate PPE. Um, minimum eye protection, earplugs, up nail boots, gloves, are that, and uh, I vis jacket. But I must emphasize. Do not do this at home unless you are competent and a qualified electrician. Okay, we reverse wired my friend Henry here. So all we've got to do now is to press the button to generate the air which will come down this tube into the back of the accordion and it will fill the bellows and I will be able to play. So I'm going to switch that on right now. It's a little bit noisy, 
But what I'm going to do is to play for you a beautiful song, Leon Rose, by that French singer, Ida Piaf. So there we have it, a, a great su success I think. Um, I'm very fortunate that apart from being the world's best chef, that I do have this musical talent. And uh, it's good that in my professional career, I can combine the two. Quite often when I'm in the kitchen, I will mingle with the diners and take up an accordion and uh, it becomes an enjoyable night. Um, you could say that when I'm working profession that is, I wear two hats and quite often the diners would often say here comes that two hat. So uh, I thought it always went down very well but I also hope this little video is uh, going to inspire you to take a musical instrument um, because I can't tell you the amount of satisfaction that uh, one gets for playing an instrument. I remember many times taking my piano accordion to dinner parties. Um, we don't get invites very often anymore but that's another story. Anyway I'm going to close by finally saying that if any of you bastards out there complain about drinking, I'll bloody sue you. And uh, hopefully this will last down. Um, so I'm working from home. And my next video will be entitled Do It Yourself Gas Boiler Repairs. Can't wait.